So cropping images uh, can be a pretty valuable tool when it comes to putting together presentations, infographics, and other types of visual content. Uh, generally speaking, most of the time you would actually add images behind items. In that case, you don't need to crop them. So in this case, there's a big background uh, image that's been placed in the canvas, and so there's really no need to crop it. But in other times, you may want to actually uh, go in and um, place an image in a specific area and you want to cut out uh, parts of it. So let's take an example for uh, this iMac monitor that's here and perhaps I want to put an image inside of the Mac. Uh, well generally speaking what would happen is if I go in and just take any image, so let's go ahead and take a software, search for a free software image, let's go ahead and grab this and so you know the proportions of this image is totally different so no matter what I do I will not be able to properly put this image inside of the monitor uh, so what would I do in that case then we have developed a, a cropping tool so what you can do is go in and apply that crop that image within that area so let's go ahead and increase the size of the image so it's a little bit bigger than the um, area it will go inside of. And so now we'll go ahead and, and apply a cropping. And so what this cropping does is it gives you a little bit of a transparency so you can see the object that it's underneath of. And then I can go ahead and literally just get close in and uh, find the area that I want to crop. Now what I can also do is, at the same time, I can actually increase or shrink the size of my image, all right? So let's achieve the area that I want to. Perhaps it's here. I can actually move the image within my cropped area. And then what I'll do is um, I can go ahead and apply it. Additionally, you can actually go in and apply a size. So I could go ahead and make it an exact size that I want it to be. So let's say it's 240, 245. So I will go ahead and now apply it. So there you go. I, what I just did was I, I cropped an image and it's now nicely beautiful place within the canvas area. Let's do another example. Let's go ahead and say if I want to upload an image. So I'll go ahead and upload an image. Um, I'll go ahead and put this screenshot here. Uh, so this image will be coming into my uh, canvas in a moment. Now if you notice the image is very very big, right? It's, it's too big for me to work with. So what would I do in that case? Same thing. I'll go ahead and perhaps shrink down the image to the size that I want it to be. So approximately maybe a third or so of the size that I had it. Um, and now I will go ahead and click on the image and uh, crop it. So I'll go ahead and crop the image again. And the same thing. So I can go in and, if, and then find an area of the image that I want uh, to crop it at. So I will go ahead and now shrink my image a little bit down because I want to fit it inside this area and then I can go ahead and uh, apply it. So uh, here's another component. What I've done was I crop my image and if I want to go back and always click crop again and go size it down so that I can achieve um, the area that I want to, to have. So I'll go ahead and apply it. So you can go back and forth as needed until you get the area that you want to have. All right, and so there it is. I have actually embedded a screenshot within this monitor. And let's go one step further. Perhaps what I want to do is I want to uh, create some sort of a collage. Um, and the cropping tool can come pretty handy in that case. So let's go grab a couple more images. I'm going to go ahead and let's say grab this image um, and uh, get this size down to an area that I want to have. And let's go grab a couple more. Uh, perhaps I want to look for um, an application. Uh, let's see, maybe this image would be good actually. Uh, so I want to get this and let's go grab one more image and perhaps this one will do good. Alright, so what I can do now is I want to create some sort of a collage. The way I can do that is crop each of the images. So I'll go ahead and grab this and apply a cropping area. So what I can just do is maybe get this part of it and now I will apply that so I, I achieved one cropped image and let's go ahead and also crop another so I will go ahead in this case maybe I just want to concentrate on the monitor and so there we go I apply that as well so there's one more image there and then let's go do the breakdown I want to just get 
the text area in this case. So what I will do is I'll go here and get it shortened down and apply it. So what I just did was I can actually go ahead and put these images right next to each other um, and I can start literally achieving more of a collage type of a work. Perhaps this one I want to do is really get just a small area of it so that there is some sort of a gap. So there we go. And so what I just did was I created a collage of uh, three images and I could just keep going and create uh, more of these if I want to. And that's how you can actually utilize the cropping tool uh, to create uh, beautiful images that can be embedded right within your presentations, infographics, or whatever you want to make.